Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss about SCD Type 1 implementation. Okay, that is slowly changing dimension Type 1. This is a very important concept in our daily activity. We might need this or sometimes this concept is asked in interview process also. That how you can implement SCD Type 1. And I am going to explain a very simple approach. So before going to SCD Type 1 implementation, we need to understand what is SCD Type 1. Okay. And it is nothing but in simple words, we can say insert or update or often we study as absurd. Okay. That absurd logic is nothing but SCD Type 1. So what it says that if there is some record which are available in source system but not present in target system, then you simply insert those records from source to target. And if there is already existing record which is available in both source and target then if the existing record in source undergo some changes then the same changes or update should be reflected in the target system as well like just to give you some example in the day one if you consider here we are having our source table and target table this schema is employee number employee name salary and hra you can easily understand employee number is nothing but primary key because two different employee cannot have same employee number, right? And in the target system, the structure is same. Only the difference is we added one synthetic primary key, which is surrogate key. That is auto increment value. Okay. In Snowflake, we can easily handle using sequence, right? Now, in the day one, what you can see that in target, nothing is there. In source, all the records are available. So, what we will do? We will simply insert all of them in our target system. And surrogate key will be auto incremented. Okay. So like for example, for first row it will be 1, for next row it will be 2, for next row it will be 3, for next row it will be 4, for next row it will be 5, and for next one it will be 6. Okay. So this is how surrogate key will keep on increasing, right? Now suppose in the next day what happens in the source system a new record comes. Like for example, the employee ID is 106 and employee name is basically M and his salary is maybe 7000. HRA is 300 okay now what should happen if we are running then this is a new record only this record should be inserted in our target system okay surrogate key also should be increased by a value 1 okay similarly suppose sometime what happens that suppose this employee D has got increment okay and his salary got increased from 500 to 600 okay now if we are running our pipeline what will happen that here in source system salary is 600 in target system, this salary is still showing older value, which is 500. So, this is something what is updated in source system. So, our framework should update the same in target system as well. Okay. Like, for example, here, after running our framework, this salary should be changed to 600 because in source system, it got updated. Okay. That is, if there is some existing record, then if some update happens in source, the same should be reflected in target. If there is some new record in source, it should be simply inserted in target. Okay. That is, this particular system don't track any history. That is for sure. Like in SCD type 2 implementation, we have seen that the SCD type 2 maintain complete history, but there is no such functionality available in this context. Okay. So, I hope you understood what is SCD type 1. And now let's try to understand how we can easily implement that. Okay. And that is kind of very simple. We can easily implement using SQL joins. Right. So, I will delete everything from target. And let's consider the initial day. Okay. So let us try to understand how to identify those records which has to be inserted from source to target. That is, what are the new records in source which are not available in target? Let us try to understand that first. Okay. So if you consider day one, here all are new records which has to be inserted in target. Now, how I am saying that? Because this employee number are not present in target system. Okay. So what we can do, we can simply make a join in between source and target on employee number column, right? And if we make a left outer join and considering the source table as left table and target table as right table. So as you know, the default property of left join is it will take all the keys from the left side table and whatever matching with respect to the right one, it will take those. And if there is some key which is not matching in the right side, then it will take null values. Okay. Now, if we do left outer join with respect to source and target and as you can see here all the employee numbers are present in source but not present in target so for target table after join 
in the employee number column we will get null values in the target table right so if employee number is null after performing left outer join in target side then we can understand those employee numbers are not available in target but those are available in source that means those has to be inserted from source to target okay so what we will do we will simply insert those in the target side okay and if there is some update it is a very simple logic we can simply use an update query and using where clause we can update specific clause which undergoes some changes in source that same will be reflected in target as simple as that right so let's see how we can implement that in snowflake so first what i am doing here here i am creating a database and using that database okay so here you can see it is created now here i am creating my source table employee number employee name salary and hr right now here i inserted some records in it so here you can see six records got inserted if i do select start from source table here you will see that source table has data okay now in target table we need one extra column called surrogate key which is synthetic primary key so for surrogate key here i am basically creating a sequence okay this sequence we will be using for auto increment purpose as default value and now here is our target table code create or replace target table we are mentioning surrogate key employee number employee name salary and hra that is all the columns whatever present in source same we are keeping in target along with surrogate key okay so here it is created now if i do select start from target table currently we will be getting no data that is obvious now to understand those rows which are present in source but not present in target we will simply apply a left outer join and then we will insert those rows for which in the target side employee id we are getting null values so insert into public dot target table that is public is basically schema target table is my table then in the target side then in all these columns we will insert data that is employee number employee name salary and hra no need to insert something in surrogate key because while creating the target table here in the ddl we have mentioned that surrogate key should be auto incremented by default okay so we no need to think about surrogate key just we need to insert the data from source to target for other columns okay so here i have mentioned the other columns and then here see this is the main code select t dot employee number t dot employee name t dot salary comma t dot hra from source table t okay the t is basically alias name for source table right left outer join with our target table d on employee number column we are joining where in target side employee number column is null in the join result that is d dot employee number is null if it is the case then we will insert those rows from source to target that's what we are doing here and if i execute this one here if i execute select start from target table here you will see all the rows from source to target is ingested properly and surrogate key is by default increasing from 1 to 6 okay now here suppose i want to execute some update in source suppose the employee a has got increment and his salary which was earlier 2000 got increased to 5690 now let's execute this update so if i do select start from source table currently in source system a salary is 5690 okay but in target table what is a salary a salary is 2000 okay so what we need to make sure that whatever update happened in source that same should be reflected in the target also so we will simply execute one update query update target table d and set here we will set all the columns with respect to the source system okay because we might not know which column might undergo changes right so employee name equal to t dot employee name salary equal to t dot salary hra equal to t dot hra from source table t okay so for all the columns in the target table we are updating the values with source table where the source table and target table employee number are matching and if any of the other column are not matching maybe in target table and source table the employee name is not same or the salary is not same or the hra is not same then in that case we will just match the key that is employee number in between source and target and we will update the target table values whatever available in the source system as simple as that okay so here we can execute this update query and then here if i execute select start from target table here you will see that a salary got increased from 2000 to 5690 which is actually available in source system okay 
Now let me show you insert update both simultaneously. Like for example, B salary, which in target as well as source is currently 5000. Suppose that is increased to 6000 and HRA from 300 increased to 3000. Okay. And there is a new employee joined in the team who is having the name MG and employee number as 1001. Okay. So let's execute all of them in the source system. Now that is done. Now if I execute select start from source table, here you will see that B salary is 6000 which is updated, HRA is 3000 updated and here MG, one new row got inserted. So what we will do, we will just execute our insert and update both query together and as a result what will happen, the new employee should be added in the target table as well as the salary and HRA which got changed for the employee B in the source system that also has to be updated in target. Okay. So if I just execute both the queries together and now if I execute see let's start from target table here you will see in target system B salary got changed to 6000 which is equal to the source system salary and HRA also got updated and in this target system a new employee who joined is who is having name MG that is also added with a increased value of surrogate key which is 7. Okay. Right. So that's how we are doing upsert using insert and update in SCB type 1. Just you need to understand how to detect those rows which has to be updated, how to detect those rows which has to be inserted. And the logic is simple. Using join, we can easily understand that. Right? I hope you understood this. All these ports I will be providing in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can go through that. This is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.